there's only one place on Earth where California, Utah, and Kansas come together. It's on the American Railway Explorer Line. Three custom cars, tricked out to be better today than the day they were built. I think that people will look at these cars and say, this is the way it, it should have been. Maybe it wasn't the way it ever was. They don't look like 1950, but boy, if you could have done it right, this is how they would have been. Jim Bain, president of the American Railway Explorer Line, says the California, Utah, and Kansas first came together in Colorado, all from different railroads. They were used as part of the ski train through the Rockies. Today, the three cars look like a matching set, and they charter for thousands of dollars a piece. I don't think that you would ever notice that these three cars, the Utah, the California, and the Kansas, would have fit together at all. The California domed car originally ran from Chicago to Seattle on the Northern Pacific Railway. The Kansas was the private car of the president of the Rio Grande Railroad. And the Utah, originally built in 1948, was a coach car for the Rock Island Railroad. Later, it sold to the Casablanca Ceiling Fan Company and was converted into a traveling showroom. You can imagine there were ceiling fans throughout this car. It's kind of scary for tall people. It traveled the country showing off their product line. When we acquired it, we converted it into this uh, beautiful lounge car. This is how the Utah used to look. And this is how it's been reconfigured today. More than a half a million bucks later. Well, we ripped out everything. Took it down to its bare walls and then uh, started laying in all this nice mahogany. And the ceiling was reconfigured to be like this with these little drop panels above. And all the mechanical systems were renewed too. We built in the bar down at the other end too. It didn't have a bar before. And Jim says no matter where the train tracks lead the Utah, its bar is now called best bar in town. The Utah, along with the California and the Kansas, now look like they were made for each other. And that's all by design. There was a great deal of influence from the Orient Express. Owner had gone over and had ridden the Orient Express and came back with a vision of how he wanted these cars to be. So we created cars that looked like the Orient Express, but in America. There was only one person who could make that happen. Mr. James Park of London was involved with the renovation of the Venice Simplon Orient Express train. And so we had him come over and he did the architecture for these cars. All three cars are decked out in deep, dark mahogany. Accented with a bird's eye maple. A rare combination that you may not be able to find anywhere else. We take a lot of pride in that. The woods, as we understand now, would be almost impossible to get because the hardwoods are so hard to find anymore. Even the partition doors that separate the sleepers in the California are made out of mahogany. Beautiful and still functional. One of the great things about these suites in the California car, they're master suites, this wall can be moved back and folded away to create a much larger room. This bed would fold down, and this bed actually drops down out of the ceiling, so you'd sleep four people in this room. The wood is only part of the Orient Express package. No detail was left undone. Everything is patterned after the original. All these carpets and the fabrics here were all imported from Holland. It's mohair, and it's the same type that they use in a Rolls Royce. The carpets themselves were specially woven for us with a pattern that we designed in England and brought over. There are even real pieces of the Orient Express on board. The draperies, these little table lamps were all from the Orient Express as well, so it emulates it quite well. They may look like sisters, but they are definitely not identical triplets. 
the California could be the prettiest of the three. It sleeps 16 and has a dome like no other private car on the tracks today. There's several of them that run across the nation, but uh, ours is the prettiest. Most of the domers running the rails today use metal to frame the giant windows. The California is carved wood. The woodworkers are amazing to me. I mean, how they can create something like this. And it wasn't really bent wood, they were carved pieces of wood. So you start with a very large piece and carve it down into just the curve that you need here. It was just a lot of um, small workmanship. And as you kind of notice around here, there really aren't any nail holes or any kind of way that, how did they hold this whole thing together? Blind joints and stuff that they did in here, that, it's a mystery to me. One mystery Jim can clear up is how dome cars were born. They were modeled after the old planes from World War II. The Vista Dome was actually invented in the Glenwood Canyon in Colorado. A locomotive engineer was going through and enjoying this magnificent view through the canyon and thought there ought to be a way for passengers to enjoy this too. So he had had some military experience with uh, B-52s or something, you know, had this curved glass idea, and so he adapted that to a rail car, and they created the Vista Dome. The California has the best view. The Utah is the party car. But the Kansas has a platform where the rich and famous have stood. In 1996, the World Economic Summit came to Denver, and so they were looking for something to do with the spouses of the world leaders. And we were chosen to take them up to Winter Park for a luncheon. So all the first ladies, and one of those being Hillary Clinton. We've also had Neil Young, Seal, and a few other stars on the train, too. These three fabulous cars are all stars in their own right. Heavenly works of art with the devil in the detail. One of the great details of the cars is this exquisite marquetry work that they did. These are inlaid pieces of wood that were all done in England. This is the Sergo Lily, which is the state flower for Utah, which is the, this car that we're in. The other cars, the California has the poppy. Kansas has the sunflower. The Kansas also has tulips lighting up the lounge and etched in the glass. One more little thing about these cars that helps us remember the elegance of the past and sets a new standard for excellence. We think that the craftsmanship and the woodwork and all the little details make these cars are more like a Rolls Royce of rail cars.